hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the name get function in odoo so currently in the screen you are seeing odoo version 15 community edition where we are continuing our odoo 15 development tutorials and in this video the point that we will be discussing is the name get function in odoo so this is an or method that is name get function is an or method so in one of our previous video video we have discussed about rec name in odoo so if i go to the appointments so here you can see inside this model we have defined a name get we have defined a rec name so if i go to the pie charm and if i take the custom add-ons here we have the om hospital module and if i go to the appointment dot py file here you can see this is the appointment model and here you can see we have given the rec name as rough you can see the rec name as rough that is a reference field as the rec name of this model so if i go back to the ui and if i go to the patient's form and if i click on create so here we have added a temporary appointment field which is a many to one to the appointment and if i click on here the value is coming from the rec name of the appointment model so you might think how once we specified rec name there the value is coming here so the name get function is responsible for us to get this value over here so what i'll do is that i'll go to the odoo source code so here we have the odoo source code and if i open that inside odoo source code we have another folder called odoo and here you can see we have a file called models.py so if i open that and if i search for diff name get you can see a function with the name diff name get and if you check this code what does this do is that it returns self dot rec name so this function is responsible to bring the rec name so by default the name get function will return the rec name of the model so there might be some case where we have to show multiple field values in a in the drop down so if i go to the ui and if i go to the appointments and if i try to create a new appointment so currently we have only getting the patient name so there might be a lot of patients with same name so it's hard to identify which is the patient that we are referring into so what we will be doing is that we will be showing you multiple field value the name will be showing as a combination of multiple field values so if i go to the patient's master here you can see we have patient name and we have added reference recently so if i create a new patient task 345 and here you can see reference is empty now if i click on save the system is automatically generating a reference for the patients so our intention is to show the combination of reference and name here inside the patient many to one field so this we will be doing using the name get function in odoo so what we have to do we have to define a name get function for the hospital dot patient model so let's see how we can do that so i'll go to the pie charm and what i will do i'll do, go to the om hospital and i'll navigate to the patient dot py file where we have defined hospital dot patient model so here we will be defining the name get function for this model so what i'll do at the last here i'll write diff name get diff name get and i'll return like this so simply this is how we can define a name get function so right now we are not supering earlier we have super the create method so here we are not going to super the name get name get function we just redefine the name get function for our module so the original function will not get executed so inside this function i'll iterate the self over a for loop for record in self so what we have to return from this function is a tuple list of tuple like this we should return like id then a string then like this 
next ID, another string. Like that, we have to return. That is a list of tuples. So we have to create that list. So I'll create a list called patient list. I'll de define. I'll just define an empty list named patient list equal to square bracket. That is defining an empty list. Then inside this loop, I'll just define a variable name equal to record dot rough plus record dot name so what i'm doing is that i'm concatenating the record dot rough so record we will be getting patient patient dot rough plus patient dot name and i'm assigning it to a variable called name now what i will do i will append i have to add this inside this list so i'll use the list append append what i have to append a tuple record dot id comma name so i'll do it like this and i will return this list instead of this i'll return this list so simply i have added four lines of code over here and i'll just restart the service and if i go to the ui and if i click on patient you can see instead of name right now we are getting the reference plus the name of the patient so right now it's, it doesn't look good so we, let's put some space here so i'll just add a space over here and let me refresh and if i come back to the ui and if i click on here you can see the name the patient's name is coming as a combination of the reference of the patient and its name so this is the use of name get function in odoo so for your understanding i have written like this i think we can simplify the code so what i'll do is that i'll write like this so for record in self for record in self let me simplify the code and what we have to do record dot id then we have to return percentage is percentage is let me just write it down and i'll explain you what i have done so i hope what i have initially explained to you so i'll use little more better method for the same record dot rough comma record dot name so instead of writing four lines of code i'll use or i'll write a single line of python code and i'll remove this i'll just simplify the expression that i have written instead of writing four lines i just changed it to a single line so this is the same functionality which i have written initially now if i restart and if i go here you can see same result we are getting so here you can see inside this list i am iterating self over a for loop then i am assigning a tuple i am creating a tuple here record dot id is specified as first variable then this percentage s and this percentage s will be replaced by record dot rough and record dot name and if i need to put some square bracket i can do it like this and if i restart and if i come to the ui you can see the reference will be coming inside a square bracket so this is the same code as we have written initially just a python i have just simplified the code for record in self then a tuple first tuple value as record id then here i'm creating this percentage s will be replaced by record dot rough and this percentage s will be replaced by record dot name and finally everything is inside a list so this is how you can define a name get function in odoo so i hope you understood this video if you have any doubt or if you have any feedback suggestions feel free to share with us over the email odoomates at gmail.com and if you like the video please do click the like button and subscribe the channel so that you won't miss any videos from odoomates so that's it for the day have a nice day thank you